Praise the Lord, church. As we transition out of the month of April and into the month of May, we are also transitioning out of our drive-in services and into a gradual program where we can phase back into having services in our main auditorium. So I wanted to touch base with you today and let you know that this first week in May, we're going to be coming back in three services uh, on Sunday morning at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and then 12 p.m., which of course is 12 noon. And those services will be pre-recorded. They'll be shown on the big screen, but we will have live announcements. We'll be there live to introduce. We'll have live prayer teams. And so the actual service will be on the big screen, but we will have ushers, greeters, and live support staff. That will be in our auditorium. We'll also have certain spacing requirements in the auditorium. We'll have mandatory hand sanitizers. We'll be sanitizing the auditorium in between each service. We're also going to have mandatory infrared uh, temperature checking in the main foyers as we come in. And uh, the uh, greeters are all going to have masks and gloves. We're doing everything we can to be uh, cautious as we gather back. And this is uh, a transition. Our goal is to be able to move forward after that and to be able to have multiple services of smaller groups here in the auditorium and the services be live. But I did want to let you know as we're transitioning into this the first week in May, I wanted to let you know that we're not going to be having Sunday school or any other classes that we would normally have this first week in May. Now, if things are going well, we can phase back in some of those smaller groups, uh, Sunday school, ladies Bible study, some of those other groups will be able to transition back into that as well. I also wanted to let you know that we have prayer teams that are meeting and we have a 24-hour prayer chain that is going on. We appreciate Brother and Sister Scott that's helping us to coordinate this. And you can get involved and you can do that. You can pray from your home but be a part of a 24-hour prayer chain. So we are excited about the opportunity to come back in uh, to our auditorium. We're going to try to do it on a, on a basis where everyone is safe. But I did want to remind you that this is the beginning. And as we phase back in, it won't be long and we're going to be back to filling up this auditorium with the praises of God's people. Now I pray that God bless you and keep you this week and may he cover your home in Jesus' name.